What? Just kidding. Hello, my name is Odin Olsen, and today we will be talking about the Asian elephant. Thank you. Asian elephants live in Thailand and India, in case you didn't know. And if, do you know any other places in Asia? I already do, but if you do know, leave it down in the comments below. Asian elephants, you know, trunks or noses, if you didn't know. They have nerves, not like our noses. Our noses can't really move at all. And they don't have bones in their noses. So they have muscles in their nerves to move the trunk and use their drinking. But in cartoons, the nose is used for like, but that's not what they do, because you are hurt. They grab it and they pull it, like they kind of like suck it inside the trunk, like right here, let's just say. And then they put it down their mouth like that, because if you just drank it from your nose, you're probably like, like that. Asian elephants go in huge numbers of herds, but not as big as like wildebeest or gazelle or all those antelopes. It's between probably 10 or 20 or probably more. But the herds are only made out of females. When they had a male, that when the baby was born, would stay with them and when it was big enough, they'll cast it away. Because males are too aggressive and they can hurt the other females or kill one of them. Because, you know, they have the musk. And musk is is a time when it's mating season and they get kind of very angry pumped to fight other animals. They can hurt other female elephants. So the female elephants have to keep their distance while the two males are fighting. Elephants uh, have those all different species of elephants. Use their ears to keep them to use them for temperature to keep them warm, cool, in different ways. But Asian elephants have smaller ears, and you would think that it wouldn't be used for nothing, just like the African elephant. But it is used for the same really thing, but it doesn't really keep them as cool as African elephants. Asian elephants, you know the saying. Um, then you need a, a whole village to take care of one baby. It's just like that. I think maybe they got reference from the elephant. But um, the elephant, the all the females in the group will take care of one baby all together. They'll help it feed, teach it, they will milk it properly. No, only the, only the mother milks it, not the others. But um, only lions do that, but I'm not going to talk about lions. The herd is lead, lead by a lead female, and that's the oldest of the group. So, like, let's say if we were elephants, your grandma, your great great grandmother, would be the leader, and she'll probably still be alive, but probably would die next week because elephants don't live as long as humans. Elephants are very intelligent. There was an elephant in Thailand, and they taught it to speak. Well, not speak, it's like what I'm doing right now. So it would put it, the trunk inside the nose and it would do vocal noises so they it knew how to say different words. So like let's say, uh, hello, hello, like, no, kind of like an echo kind of. It sounded sound like a monster kind, very creepy. But it's very amazing. And when a, one elephant dies in a group, they kind of grieve and sad, get sad and like they touch the body. So. We, we scientists don't know why they do it, but maybe they feel emotions like us, and I believe that. I believe a lot of animals have emotions like mammals. I believe a lot of mammals have emotions. Well, I think a lot, all mammals have emotion, emotions. So, yeah. But then they're very, very intelligent. Like, there was an elephant in the zoo that knew which ball to pick from the trees, which color ball it should pick, which cup had the food. And that was very amazing because their brains are very big and have a lot of nerves just like humans, but not as much as ours. Asian elephants in um, other places in the world, uh, well elephants in other places in the world are very endangered and scientists think they might go extinct because um, humans use the tusk, the ivory, and it's very sad that maybe they might go extinct. And in China, they're almost going extinct. So it's really sad it's happening, but I hope they don't go extinct because they're one of my favorite animals. But yeah, but do you 
think they're gonna go extinct? Leave down in the comments below. Bye. Subscribe to my channel. And leave a like if you want to.